Hey, YouTube land. It's me. Well, I was gonna say Matt. It's me, Matt. <laughs> it's me, Aaron, with my uh, son Matt here. And uh, staying on the island theme of tonight, we decided to watch a, uh, an interesting film, yeah, culture classic, which we're gonna review right now. And that would be <coughs> oh, oh. Zombie, zombie Flesh. It's uh, Zombie Flesh Eaters. Does yep. it have like three other titles? Otherwise known as Zombie Two or just Zombie without zombie. the, uh, you know, the I know what is zombie. Actually, <clears throat> so, so um, Zombie f was done by uh, Fulci, and actually it it helped uh, basically resurrect his career in the time it was kind of going down a bit. And uh, but we're here to talk about the movie right now. Yeah. We just finished watching it. I think this is my son's first time. It's your first time watching it. Yeah, it's my first time watching it. And of course, there's some classic scenes in this movie we're going to talk about. So um, you want to set up the opening for us? Uh. Yeah, sure. Uh, a sailboat is drifting through uh, Manhattan, I think, but yeah. like Manhattan Bay and all that stuff, and like going past, going near that very famous bridge, I guess, in New York, whatever that bridge is called. I'm not very good at uh, uh, American geography, uh, but uh, and it doesn't appear that there's anybody there. So the Coast Guard like pops in and uh, they investigate, and uh, on uh, this boat they find no one. Except for Big Zombie, who uh, kills one of the Coast Guards, and uh, it is then disposed of. And uh, you find out that that boat uh, possibly belongs to uh, the uh, father of a girl or, or female protagonist. Played by Tissa uh, Farrow, actually, Mia Farrow's sister. Yeah, and uh, she's interested to find out what happened to her father, and she gets a... Uh, she gets her and a reporter she runs into uh, having upon a note that says that he is contracted some strange, horrible disease and is on an island far away and she'll never see him again because he's probably dead. So they have to go search <coughs> to see if that's true. If he's that really is Sharon McGuffin for the film. <clears throat> and basically, at this point, they decide, <coughs> hey, something horrible happened to him, let's go there. Well, yeah, the whole th thrust behind it is that Ian McCulloch plays a, uh, an English reporter that uh, works in New York, and he's really like one of those, like, chase the story type of old school reporters. Yeah. Uh, and um, Tissa Farrow follows him, and they go to, uh, they go, they go to the island where they've heard of it, stuff that's going on. There they went up with a, uh, a, a boat captain and yeah. his, uh, and, and I guess his girlfriend. Yeah, they're on vacation, apparently. <laughs> I'm guessing they've uh, probably been sailing around, like, type, yeah, type thing. Yeah, they're on naked scuba vacation. <laughs> yeah. So we get some really classic scenes there. Like naked scuba vacation. Yeah, well, there's some really, really great gore in this movie. Like, for one, the... Uh, Jesus, the, there's gore in this film. <laughs> the naked scuba scene is amazing. That got, leads into... The naked scuba scene is a very, like, a odd, almost uncomfortable scene where everybody looks at the na girl, like, just get naked and then put on scuba gear, but just, like... The breathing cool. stuff and the face thing. No shirt or anything. She jumps in the water. We see some really good underwater shots. <coughs> a fake get... shark comes up and it's all like, oh, I'm a fake <coughs> shark. And they have like no, a little... No, it's a real shark. Is they they okay. fed him horse meat and set it up in order to uh, keep him uh, kind of docile. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, we watch Animal Cruelty. and uh... <laughs> I'm guessing that the other, that part the was fake. Yeah, oh, okay. The, the other part was obviously fake. But uh, the shark comes up. They have this weird like shark battle. But suddenly... Shark versus uh, zombie battle. A zom or not even a zombie cop pops out because there's a little like shark like thing first, and then a zombie pops out, and we have a shark versus zombie one on one death match, and the shark wins. The shark wins that battle. Well, I think they both lose really, but the shark. Well, gets I mean, the better. shark gets like a like the the zombie's like oh and rips a bit of the shark's stomach out and like bites it, then the shark comes up and like rips his arm off pretty much. So basically, but, like they... underwater shark battles with zombies is. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. They get very to the cool. island and they meet a scientist who was earlier on was arguing with his very gorgeous wife who oh, seemed kind of crazy and kind of bitchy. But I think if that had happened to you two, maybe you'd go crazy as well. See, now, the thing is that she has a nude scene, of course, because this is Fulci, and shortly after she has one of the most gruesome deaths in the film. Yeah. Of course, it's time for that classic eyeball scene. Yeah. That yeah, was not cool. That was I hate eyeball <laughs> scenes in movies. Well, she's famous for that. But, oh, man. And that's one of the classic ones. And that they was, don't like, even leave it at that so slow. It's just on really, really you agonizing. You see her body, like, much later. She's still got the, like, thing in her eye. Yeah. Uh, half of her, like, half of her leg has been eaten, and uh, her guts have been ripped out. 
and like parts of her armor being eaten as well. It's a pretty brutal sequence, and it's uh, a pretty brutal movie overall. <laughs> and you know, Italian. This is why I like Italian zombie movies better, to be honest mm-hmm. with you, than their American counterparts. I just find that one, it it delivers, yeah. and two, it really goes over the top. I love the fact the way they talk sometimes because it's like an Italian screenwriter trying to figure out how a North American person is going to talk. So you get a lot of like unintentional humor within the uh, within their uh, in their speeches and speech patterns. Yeah. So overall, we get at the end of it basically it's a free for all. Zombies yeah. against survivors. It's pretty. Uh, oh, it's. Uh, and, uh, let's not give away the bleakness of the ending. Though. No, it's a very well, very bleak ending. But uh, <coughs> but uh, this no. Molotov cocktail is being thrown every five seconds. Uh, no, no, we actually got, I got to talk about this. We got to talk about the ending. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Spoiler, Spoiler alert, alert for a movie that's really old. Um, uh, the uh, ending on the boat. <laughs> it's almost funny. Where they're they like, got, they're, they got to keep the zombie alive. Like, the, we, they've one got of the a friend, like one of the friends is like bitten. The ship captain. The ship captain, because his girlfriend died earlier because Cover Zombie attacked her, and uh, and then they're all like, "Oh no, Cover Zombie!" and they stopped him, but then they just left her. In a beautiful sequence, but in a yeah. in an old Spanish uh, conquistador cemetery, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, really, really good sequence. Um, and basically, they're like, "Okay, we got to get him back because nobody's gonna believe us because yeah, all we've got to keep the zombie as proof instead of killing him and like releasing him." And uh, they're, they're like, let's check the radios, yeah. see if we're in range now. And they're like, uh, earlier on, as I mentioned, uh, when the Coast Guard was killed at the very beginning, and uh, to the, uh... you see a hint early on that he's a zombie and stuff like that, but you never see him again. And uh, the radio is just like, so zombies everywhere in New York. <laughs> Pretty Dear much. God, everybody's dead. What's that? Zombies entering <laughs> the building, coming in here now, eating me. Ah. It's and uh, really it's just cool. horrible, and you see, uh, well, not horrible, I mean. I think it was it's, Fulci uh, actually doing that what? voice. I think it might have been Fulci actually doing the zombie <laughs> reporter voice. And uh, then you get this really awesome shot of uh, but, the zombies on the bridge. And this is the one thing I've got to say. This is one of the most beautifully shot zombie films I've ever seen. It's probably the most beautifully shot zombie film yeah. I've ever seen. The cinematography in this movie is phenomenal. Uh, the way some of the shots are framed are fantastic. Oh, yeah. Uh it actually heightens the suspense. It goes beyond being like a cheesy Italian knockoff to being like something as a, I don't know, dare I say, it's a, kind of a work of art in the way that they do this. Yeah. They have some amazing gore shots, but the gore is extremely well done. Uh, the the uh, acting yeah. is to be expected. Uh, but still, there's, I don't mind it. The, there's Most of the cast are actually, some of them don't seem likable at first, but they kind of grow on you, and you don't want to see them die. There's a sequence that, near the end, that... I think it's, that's supposed to be more tugging on the heartstrings, but I don't think it really works. The uh, the the girlfriend's return. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> See, but uh, there's a few things in the plot that I was like, mm. like for example, when she died, I didn't care so much because she didn't contribute anything to the plot other than that naked scuba diving scene. That was she enough. She says for nothing further like past that point. There's only like her saying like one like I can't stand this. That's the only line I remember from her. Uh, so when she dies, I didn't care. I mean, I, the only thing I thought was like, wow, cool, it's cover zombie, cover zombie's eating her. Now, see, for me, the uh, scientist, I really grew to like the oh, scientist. The scientist was, it was and his really death confusing. is really shocking. I mean, yeah, no, there was out of nowhere. Zombie like totally comes out of nowhere, and it However, was a fantastic scene. And again, that scene was like, oh my god, but then like the next scene's like, oh, the next guy's dead, and it's like, oh, the third girl's dead too. When it's uh, just kind of like offing the like doctor characters all about one, but uh, one of the most inconsistent and weird scenes is uh, is that girl, his wife. She like starts out and she's like, "You're a mad scientist. You're making zombies everywhere and you're evil. You're I hate you, you butt." And uh, and you're I'm like, "Oh man, I mean, I really don't like the way she bitches, but maybe this guy really is evil." But you find out no, he's. He's there to make a cure. They've been there to make a cure for a long time. They're trying to help, well, prevent the end of the movie, pretty much. Uh, so I don't get her character, other than a really, like, cool and gruesome death scene. Well, her character, I think, is to show the other side of the coin. He's the cool, like, reserved scientist yeah. that's trying to get the cure. Whereas she, she's, she, she's not a scientist. She's his wife. She's someone that's been thrust into like a crappy situation 
her mind is pretty much snapped and she just wants to be out of there. He feels a sense of duty and obligation. He can't go. Yeah. Uh, and he can't let her go because her going could spell her doom as well. So they're kind of at an impasse. Then yeah. they grow up to a point where he's been out there for a while, like you said. Yeah. So here, here she is now, hating the guy that she loved. He can't do anything to stop that hate. Yeah. And uh, that's the way I saw it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I hate her character. Uh, but I don't want to see anyone die with that eyeball death. Nobody should die with like a. She was beautiful though. She's a beautiful actress. It's I mean, not like one of those like quick eyeball deaths where it's like, oh no, it's through your eyeball. You just see like, <laughs> you see a piece of like shattered wood classic. slowly go through her eye, and you see like the it's gel of the eye split. And it's oh, so okay, dude. It's time for us to give our rating for yeah, zombie flesh eaters. Do ratings? Um, I guess we do ratings. Yeah, we're gonna do some type of rating for. Uh, I give it. <coughs> I give it five jives out of turkey. <laughs> Out of five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess. I, I like give this lot. movie five zombie shark fights out of five. Yeah. Um, this is a fantastic film. It's an, uh, Arrow has a sale going on right now. There's still a few days left. If you haven't picked up Zombie Flesh Eaters, it's a great package. There's some great features on it. Uh, on the second disc, which my son hasn't got a chance to see it, but I have, uh, has, has some great documentaries, including one called... <laughs> I just realized, I like look at like, like this is like the yeah right here is the uh, the description here is the special features <laughs> yeah it's like it's pretty cool they even give you three options for the uh, opening credit sequence uh, but uh, there's an hour long from from Ramiro to Rome uh, talking about like zombie films it's, it's just incredible there's just some amazing stuff on here uh, you talk to a lot of people there's great interviews so just some incredible stuff really seriously guys if you haven't had this one from Arrow definitely pick it up Zombie Flesh Eater is the best version of this that I have seen personally I uh, love the film strong and cut uh, th the uh, filmmaking was incredible the, the film was great the transfer was great the grain was great and the spots where the grain needed to oh. be great and overall yeah thumbs up oh yeah for me right now I gotta Two check out some videos decaying falling off thumbs there and so for me right now it is time for tea so how's my wife? Who's missing?